What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Geometry Dash. How are you doing today? Today we're finally doing another episode of Building with Lemons and it's been a while so, you know, I just thought I'd finally make... Oh my god. Just the birds can just shut up for once when I'm trying to record it. Anyways, as I was saying, we're doing a Building with Lemons episode today and we're building a highly requested thing that has been requested a lot recently. Yeah, this intro is really not going as I planned to be honest, but hey, that doesn't really matter. But anyway, we're doing the nine circles style today, and this is such a highly requested thing. I see a lot on my in the comment sections of Building with Lemons videos, everyone's like, oh, build nine circles levels, and I'm like, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it for you guys. There's, I haven't seen many good tutorials on how to build this on YouTube, so hopefully you can learn something. If you want to build a cool circles level, this will give you some tips to do it, and yeah. Fun fact time. Yeah, are you ready? Um... Back in 1.9, I actually built R9 Circles level, and yeah, I built it back when it was like the whole, the crazy thing to do, everyone was doing it, it was just, you know, it was considered normal to build an Iron Circles level, and I still have that level, and I've rebirthed it in 2.11, and I might actually release it one day, you know, I've, I've kept the same gameplay, I've done all the design, but anyway, I'll talk about that later, I might show you the level at the end of the video, but we're going to be building a 9 Circles level today. Well, we're going to be building a bit of it, of course, not all of it, but here we go, we've got this prepared, which is, you know, I've got this gameplay right here, as you can see. So, of course, your first step is to build some gameplay, basically just kind of, not too many rules here, just make it wave, of course, I mean, it doesn't have to be wave, but typical nine circles is wave, obviously, and yeah, that's what we're going to do, and actually, I see a really nice spot for a coin, yeah, wow, that actually works really nicely. <laughs> My god, I'm just getting so sidetracked. Anyway, back to the gameplay. So make it kind of hard if you want to make it a hard level. I mean, that was that's kind of self-explanatory to be honest. Who cares? We're just going to get into the design. As you can see, we have it right here. So what you want to do is build your gameplay, and then, well, probably it would have been a better idea to build gameplay with um, these blocks here, <laughs> but that doesn't really matter. We can change them anyway. So what I'm actually going to do first is make my gameplay invisible, because I don't want these blocks showing up. These are just the hit boxes for them. Thing. And you don't even need to do this, you can actually just start off building with these blocks here. And, of course, we'll be also be using, um, I don't even know where they've gone now, who cares? So yeah, it has been a while since I've made a building video, and, you know, I like making them, so I've come back to it, and I'm doing it. So as you can see, you can't see them at all, they're nice and invisible, because we don't need them there at all. Okay, so keep preview mode off, and we're going to start our block design. And, the cool thing about 9 circles levels, is they're actually pretty simple. They're pretty cool to do when you know the technique and, you know, they're awesome. So for this episode, we're going to keep with a typical four color nine circles block design style. So we're going to be using colors one to four to keep things nice and simple, just like they did it back in 1.9. Okay, so the first blocks you're going to need are these ones here. So these little things, these blocks are kind of like a colored version of um, this thing here. So you get the colored version and it also has gameplay with it. It's also got a hitbox, so you didn't really need to make any of this gameplay, so... Yeah, just forget about that for now. Well, and we're going to be placing this around here, and we'll give it a new layer so it doesn't interfere with our gameplay. And we're going to be making this one color one, which it already defaults to, so you don't have to worry too much about that. And we're just going to be doing what? And we're just going to be placing these around the pattern of our gameplay like this. Basically, you just trace out your gameplay that you made before, or you make your gameplay with these blocks, of course. I would highly recommend you make your gameplay out of these ones, because, you know... Makes life a bit easier, saves you a step of making gameplay. Okay, so that's the gameplay traced out with these types of blocks. Now for our next step, we're going to go into here and find this block here, the one that doesn't have the gameplay on it. You're going to make it the same color, so color one, and you're going to do this. You're going to put the outline block here. Not not really an outline block, but you see how you, I'm completing the kind of, it's kind of like a wave thing. I'm kind of completing the line, making it solid, so you want to be doing that, and you want to do that all over here again. So. Repetition again. This is kind of the tedious part of building, you know, building isn't all fun It's just, there's a lot of patience and you know placing stuff like this But it's worth it when you do it because you can create something awesome and creating cool levels is just fun Also, I do apologize for my voice today. It is a bit like kind of messed up because I've been sick for the past three days but yeah, I wanted to do a video and you know, it doesn't really matter if my voice is slightly weird today But it's all good. Hopefully you don't mind. Hopefully none of you really care um, I, I doubt you do, to be honest. You're, you're all nice people. Now, the next step you want to do is find, um, where the hell did it go? Um, I, this is a constant problem I have on this channel, trying to find blocks. Oh, there it is. Oh, you showed yourself. Thank you very much, my friend. Ah, yes. Okay, so now you have this beautiful block selected. We're going to place it around everywhere, and we're going to be doing this. So, underneath your original layer of colored blocks, you want to put these gray blocks here. So, these don't have a color. These will stay the same color no matter what you do. So you want to be placing these underneath here, 
in an outline like this, and I'm, I'm going to cut it out because it's a bit boring, but you also want to be doing this, so doubling it over, making the layer like that, so be doing that all over the area, and I'm, I'll be back when I've done that, because cool. Okay, so there we go, we've placed our inside blocks down now, and as you can see, for some blocks, this is the block design done, so this one, this one, this one, and yeah, that's it, these ones are done for now, but of course we need a lot more work on these ones, so uh, we're going to keep going. You can kind of see the pattern going here, it's it's getting pretty predictable, but I'm going to show you how to save some time. So here, you want to grab this block again and place it here, but this time, you're going to make it color 2. So as you can see, it's going here, underneath the grey block, so make this color 2, not color 1, so a completely new color. And we'll, yeah, color, we'll be making it color 2, as I just said, I keep repeating myself, but yeah, place them around one more level inside, if that makes any sense to you. <laughs> Which it should, because, you know, if it doesn't... Go and get your brain checked or something. I don't know. Like that was that was kind of rude. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna place some blocks down. Yeah. Oh, I'm placing some blocks down. Yeah. You know, I should stop being really weird in these videos. <laughs> so you placed your color two layer now. You placed first one, second one, third one. That's what we're up to, and that's cool. We're up to there. Um, so that's color one and color two. That's only about half of what we're doing. So as you can see here, we put these ones on a different layer completely, and this is um, a strategy move, so we can be lazy. <laughs> Okay, it's not laziness, it's just being efficient, so don't don't call me lazy. So select all of your bottom ones here, so we're going to do one at a time, so like this. Select all the ones on the bottom half, now copy and paste, move it down one, two, and then change it to color three. So these ones will be obsolete, we don't need them. These ones, we can cut out anything below the gameplay line, you can cut out, so basically that only saved time there and there, but that's still saving time. I'm going to do the same thing on the top here, so these ones, this one, and yeah, so one, two, color three, and then this one, we're also going to go copy paste again, one, two, and color four. So there we go, we've got our one, two, three, and four colors all the way down, and of course, as we did before, we can delete everything above and below the gameplay line. So there you go, that's almost your block design done. So a few more things to do here, of course, we're gonna need to get these ones yet again, and what we're gonna do to save even more time is we're gonna make another triangle, and we're just going to fill it in like this, and now we're just going to copy paste that in the area that it needs to be. So if I go into all the layers, you can see that it's copy pasting into the area. That will save me quite a bit of time, so like that. And this is basically our last step of the block design. So this will almost be done, and you know, you'll, you'll have made 9 circles block design, and that's pretty cool in my opinion. And once again, we're deleting everything below the blue lines, and yeah, we're done. That's the block design, completely done. It's as simple as that. It's actually not that hard to make a 9 circles level, but it's pretty cool, and of course we're not done with the whole video, we've still got quite a bit more to do, and yeah, let's do, let's get on to colours. <laughs> okay, so colours, what we're going to do to start out with is background pulses, so, so we're going to get one of these delicious pulse triggers and place it down here, and this is up to you now, this is all up to your creative taste, what kind of colour do you want to make your 9 circles level? Um, so yeah, we're going to make it green. Um, and what we're going to do is make the pulse, so you want to make it not too bright, kind of like halfway between dark and bright, so halfway in the middle of there, maybe a bit higher, so like that. And then you want to make fade out 50. You could alter this if you want, but this is just my personal preference for pulses in a 9 circles level, and then you're going to choose background, and then we're going to have our pulse, of course we want the background to be black as well, that's an important step I forgot to say, you want the background to be black and all the colours to be black too. <laughs> Like that, so there we go. We want to make it a little brighter, I think, so there we go. And you can put them on the beat, like... Yeah, so I think I'll put them on the beat. There's an, another way to do it is to just put them at regular intervals, but I don't really like that. I prefer to put them on the beat, so I'm going to time them all so they're syncing up with the drum beat and the song, and it's going to be cool, and yeah, cool. So there we go, that's how pulses done. Pulses are all good for this part here. Now we want to do the colours for our things here. So... What we did before, we were nice and pre-prepared, we made all the colours aligned already. So colour 1, colour 2, colour 3, and then colour 4 is, is used once here, all the way down there, only in the massive blocks. So we're going to do our colours right now. And we're going to be using colour triggers. So colour, we'll place a colour, it's already on 1, so that's cool. And whatever colour you chose, so I chose green, um, you're going to make it nice and bright, and then put it on 0. And then you're going to copy-paste that trigger, so copy-paste, and then move it over 2 steps. So two tiny steps, so you can go into here, and one, two, and there we go, it's right there. Now you want to make it ten fade out, so whatever, nine, nine will do just fine, and then back to black, so as you can see, that's colour one. So once you've got that, all you really need to do is select it, move it over one, 
one big step this time. Color two, copy paste, color three, and color four. Look at that, that's that's just beautiful, isn't it? And one thing before we start copying and pasting that everywhere, we wanna make color three slightly different. So we'll make it more green, you know, just to give it a bit of diversity. And then color two will also, we'll make it a bit more yellowy and maybe a bit darker too. Yeah, I think that's good. So we've got a bit of diversity. It's not just the same color. So there we go. Now we've got these triggers here. Just copy paste them and do the same thing. Just keep moving them over there. Four steps along. Keep them moving all over the wave part. So anywhere there's wave, anywhere there's this block design, you want these color triggers to be above them. So yeah, you, you see, you get the point really. And yeah, so let's see what it looks like. As you can see, we've done all the colors and this is spazzing out like it should be. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're well on the way to completing your nine circles level. There's a few more things we need to do, of course, but they're not really anything compared to what you've done already. You've done the hard part. You've done most of the hard work. We're on the home stretch now. Okay, so as you can see, we've got this part. It's very blank. We need a bit more stuff. So what is typical in a nine circles level is to do this. So go onto a new layer. We're going to get these angled ones. So they're not, they're not really like these ones are 45 degrees. I think these ones are like, I don't even know. I'm not a math genius. They're like, whatever, they're going to be like 60 degrees or something. I don't know. I'm taking a guess. So you want to bake these pillars here and then you got that as you can see. Now you want to get the colored version of that and put it on another layer. So number five, and then we'll go like this, do the same thing really. Just do, do that, make these little pillars and that's color one. So select color one. It's already defaulted to color one. So it doesn't really matter. And then you want to get this, move it over two steps. Color two, get move it over two steps, color three, two steps, color four, and then go over here and fill in the gaps. We also want to extend that a little bit, so we're going to select these ones here. As you can see, damn it, we selected an extra one. Come on, get back in your place. I don't want to see, I don't want to see your face ever again. So keep selecting half. This is really irritating trying to select these without selecting the other ones. But there we go, we've done it. And we're going to move that over there. So we're going to extend it a little bit just so it fits our area. Then we're going to get the whole thing and move it over here so it fits into the area that we want. So there we go, it fills up the area quite nicely. We're gonna move these spikes a little bit just so it accommodates it a little better. And yeah, that, that should be it for that part. So the last thing that you need to do in your cool level is saw blades and these are quite simple, so don't worry. So as you can see, we've got these three types of saws. We've got um, a small one, a medium one, and a fat ass one here. Mm. What the hell, what the hell was that? Okay, I don't even know. Okay, we're going to place all three of them down like this. And then as you can see, we're going to go right here. Select that one. Very important here to go detail and color one. Don't change the base color. So detail, color two, detail, color three. Look at that. Now this one we want on T2, this one we want on T1, and this one we want on B1, just so they can all be layered correctly. Didn't mean to place that. And there we go. We've got our soul blade. We just need to place that around a few times. For our, In our case, we don't really need too many of them because there's a lot of space already. We'll just place them around a bit and make sure you place them on a new layer just so if you want to edit anything, they don't get in the way. And yeah, it makes it nice and useful. So we can place one there and maybe one down here and then maybe one on when we're coming out of the level. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. We don't really need very many of them. And yeah, if you want to make small ones, all you got to do is delete the outside layer and now you've got a smaller one. Might play, we actually might place that one one there, yeah, there we go, just for the sake of placing a saw blade. And there you go, that's actually it. It's very simple. We're keeping it to the 1.9 style, 9 circles level. Nothing too fancy, nothing too interesting, but this is how it was made in 1.9, and this is how I'm showing you how to make it now. And if you followed all my steps correctly, you've made a 1.9 level. So let's play the results, shall we? Let's play what we've done. Let's see. Nice, and I died right at the end. Pretty cool. It's it's a bit like, it's not very detailed, but as you can see, it is a nine circles level. It is what you're trying to, I can still hear those bloody birds that were at the start of the video. Whatever, I hope I hope the microphone doesn't pick them up. So let's get, let's get the coin, shall we? Oh, look at that. Nice, okay, so that was how to build a nine circles level. Technically, it was just how to build a 1.9 version of a nine circles level. What I'm going to do now is show you my revamped 2.11 9 circles style that I put uh, quite a lot of effort into. Back here, I made the gameplay here for this a while ago. And the decoration, I also made in 1.9, but I revamped it completely. I've added heaps of new stuff, a lot of effects, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. I might even release this one day. Um, if a lot of people want it, I might release it because I'm actually kind of proud of it. It's pretty cool. 
as you can see, it's also really hard, so I don't know if I'm still alive, but that's cool. Let's see if we can go for a while. Okay, whatever, you can see. You can see what I mean, by the way. Okay, so that was the tutorial on how to build a nine circles level. This iconic style has been around in the community for quite a while, and you know, it was about time I made a video on it, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Ooh, we got some fancy chests to open before we leave. What have we got here? I don't think anyone really wants to watch me opening chests, but I like opening chests, so it's all good. And we've got a shadow shard, so sweet. Okay, that wraps it up for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you now have the skills you require to make a 1.99 circles level. And basically, it's all up to you what you do from there. You can make it different, you can make it creative. What you do is up to you. That kind of rhyme, but hey, I do it all the time. Yeah, I'll see you all later. Thanks for coming to the video, and thanks for watching. I might see you in the next video. Until then, stay cool and peace out, everyone. Later.